I, the first time I went out playing was at an empty bar. What was the name of that bar in Johnson County? Or on Johnson Drive? Oh, uh, uh, Beamers. Beamers, yeah. Beamers. There'd be nobody in the bar but these two guys up on the balcony from a halfway house. Maybe someday I'll be strong. Maybe I won't be long. And Dirty Steve. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'd go sit in and do a few songs with him, and uh, then we. I, I had a band with a bunch of family members, and Dennis would play with us. But anyway, then when John and I kind of switched gears, we hooked up with these guys, and just it's cool. It's kind of kind of black crowsy, kind of right, blackberry smoke, blackberry yeah. smokish, and a little bit of everything. A couple of the rock and roll songs from the back in the day we throw back in. Mm -hmm. well, I knew when I auditioned with the band that I wanted to be in the band. Well, these parts ain't much to do, some work like a dog to find. Really good players and you know, just good dudes and you know. After that first time we got together, I was like, up the call. <laughs> There's a party back in the woods tonight. Heard it through the redneck grapevine. Got a keg of beer and a bunch of girls. no you know right now we're, we're just kind of we're kind of venturing out and playing festivals and events you know around the midwest area we're having fun nobody gets in too much trouble we're gonna get some i'm gonna worry about skinny actually so <laughs> but, uh, we're gonna keep an eye on him I think it's been kind of fun, actually. I uh, we pulled out some things that, that Dennis and I fiddled with years ago, and Skinny's written a lot of stuff, and uh, so we just started doing that here, actually, in the past six months to a year, and it's, it's, it's been cool. She don't love me for the things I say. No, I never say no. Yeah. Know where it fits. It's definitely country rock stuff. Right. Um, but well, it's kind of neat when you take a song idea and then everybody kind of puts their flavor to it, and then it kind of becomes something else. So you start with an idea, and then once everybody right. kind of puts their their hands in it. Some of it started with just lyrics and John strumming on acoustic, right? Music, you know, and, and and then you know we just all kind of. Skinny here is kind of the master of hearing things that should be in there, you know, and, and uh, putting that together, it seems like things just kind of grow around it. The one we put out on iTunes is Superhero. Yeah. Um, that was when we kind of got finished up first, and then uh, when we started doing all this original work together, it, it, you know, everybody just kind of started fiddling with it one night at practice, and it was super, it was awesome. So I wrote it um, about seven or eight years ago for my daughter. She was uh, she's in and out of Children's Mercy a lot, and uh, we wrote it actually in the hospital room one night when she was in there. And it just it's just about uh, at the time I just wrote it about you know, the kid, kids like her that can go through all kinds of stuff, and uh, they're, they're tough as nails and tougher than anybody else, and, and they're the real heroes. Baby, you amaze me with all that you do Sometimes I don't understand why you bear this way It's like you've been given this gift only so many years But where the country's burden and pain I wish you never read to end I don't need no superhero I 
very much. 